Greetings, I'm Edis. And I'm Ben, and we're here to bring you Disney animated classic movie reaction number seven. The Three As someone who's never seen The Three Caballeros, mm. what are you expecting from this movie? Something better than Saludos Amigos. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like you might have shown me a clip of them like on a flying carpet or something. Because you told me there's like a there's a thing that's like really inappropriate or something. Do you remember? Well, let's find out as we start the movie, shall we? I'm gonna make a tea. So obviously this film came out in 1944. What was happening in 1944? Obviously the war. Which one? Uh, the Great World War. The sequel to The Great World War. Yeah. So The Three Caballeros came out during the Second World War and during that time it was a bit angsty for different countries so this was actually part of the Good Neighbour program of America trying to make friends with Latin America. The Three Caballeros is the second movie to come from Walt's trip to Latin America. If you want more information on that then check out our Saludos Amigos video because I go into detail. So we're going to see some of the same characters as from Saludos Amigos. It's the same, it's a package movie so in this one there's seven different segments but rather than it being joined seven. up... Seven! Yeah, it's a bit more than Salados Amigo. Salados had four. This has seven, but Salados was more sort of documentary style. Where this one, we do get a little bit more of a story. A little pequeño story. <laughs> Spanish! <laughs> Friday the 13th. So not like known for being bad luck. Yeah, maybe that's why they chose Friday the 13th. Because they didn't no. say... Hmm? What? What? Why would they choose a, a bad day? Because it's Donald Duck and he gets angry and his birthday's on Friday the 13th. Right. Oh God, I'm the rich. Just I feel like I'm high. On what? Because I'm tired. Oh, well, this is going to wake you up. No, this is nighttime tea. <laughs> What are you doing to yourself? <laughs> this is... What's that say? I was just laughing because it was on his butt. <laughs> this story takes us way down to the South Pole. Two things you will find most of down here are ice and penguins. Why are we in the North Pole? South Pole? <laughs> I was like, are you not watching? <laughs> It's amazing that anybody would want to live here, but most penguins go fishing and wear ice skates apparently. And there is nothing the average penguin likes better than a day at the beach. Mickey Mouse. Uh, but come on, let's meet Pablo. He lives down at the end of Main Street. Main Street, USA. Let's go in and see what's cooking. Pablo could never remember having been warm enough. Do you recognize the narrator's voice? Um, who is it? That's my question to you! So this is the second Disney movie that Sterling Holloway has had a voice in. You've mentioned this person before. I have indeed. They are going to go on to voice many more Disney characters. The first one we saw was the Stork in Dumbo. He's the voice of Winnie the Pooh. And the Cheshire Cat. Never seen it. And Rogueford the Mouse Never from Aristocats. Seen Not seen it really. All these household characters that everyone has seen and loved. And he just does the same voice. Yeah, that's pretty wild. He's no Alan Tudyk. He's yeah, the he's same every single time. Pablo had one burning desire to spend the rest of his life on some tropical shore. So we see him bravely set forth for the Isle of his dreams. So tennis rackets on his feet. He doesn't want to get chilly toes. See what happened? What happened? He froze. <laughs> How? He's a penguin that doesn't like the cold. Right, that wasn't clear. But he didn't, he wouldn't actually freeze because he's a penguin. That's the joke. It's a, it's a comedy. <laughs> Boom. And now for the official launching. <gasps> Pollution. We thought we were killing the penguins. The penguins are killing us. <laughs> One day a storm cloud came up. Just a little bitty old storm cloud though. And One day on lookout, Pablo had a bit of a shock. A water spout off the port bow. Where's he going? According to Pablo's Oh, oh, oh well, Pablo. we got our map here. Yeah. A llama. What do you know about llamas? Where are they native to? South America. 
Thank you to the educational video that was Saludos Amigos. So, making a left turn, he followed the equator, headed for the Galapagos Islands. I thought they were going Galapagos. Oh, that good old son. It's like his house. Uh-huh. Oh, he hadn't counted on this. Help! Man the pumps! She's trying to leak! Hi, Does he not know he can swim? Deck. Do things! Get going! <laughs> no. No, man. You haven't watched many cartoons as a child, and it shows. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Hey, that's, cool. that's clever. That's cool. Finally reached the Isle of his dreams. We leave little Pablo, a bird in paradise. He should be the happiest penguin in the world. Only sometimes he gets to thinking. I've got a question for you. Pablo the penguin or Pedro the plane? Pedro the plane. Over Pablo the penguin. He wore a woolly hat. Pedro was climbing mountains. Pablo was cool. He was cool, but he wanted to be hot. Uh. <laughs> That's human nature for you. Even if you're a penguin. You're absolutely right. So what do you think about Pablo the Penguin? I think that's our first segment already done and dusted. Is that it? I think so. Boy. He went on a little journey to the Galapagos and then he missed the South Pole. And now, Donald, let's hop over the Andes. Oh, they really hopped over. <laughs> Sometimes it really does um, shock me how funny people can be from like maybe a hundred years ago. But you didn't laugh. No, but I know they were trying to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> from these snow-capped peaks to the depths of the Amazon jungle, one finds many more strange and exotic birds. He carries his own bagpipes hidden under it's his beard. Spit. Then there's his cousin. He's about to spit some sweet bars. Senor Donald, I would like to have you meet one of the most eccentric birds you have ever seen. His name is the Araquan. Who? The Araquan. I like this bird. Now, he's called the Araquan because of the peculiar song he sings. Oh, I think there might be some good music though, so oh, maybe yeah. you'll wake up, get a big jiggy jiggy. Which sounds something like this. Is it Wood Whipper? No, how dare you! <laughs> and now, Donald, how would you like to hear a story about another bird? So amazing, you won't believe it. Oh, sure. You bet. Oh, 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 you know who that is? That's me, when I was a little gauchito. Caramba! What's this? I couldn't believe my eyes. A flying donkey. I think that's one of the little boys left over from Pinocchio. <laughs> I was going to say from Fantasio. Oh, yeah. Quick, Gauchito, now, get him, quick! Hey. I got him! Not like that. He can fly, you mug. Yeah, he's smarter than that. <laughs> if you was that donkey, would you have let the kid fall? I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> Ben, you can't even whistle. Why, every time a character whistles, do you have to bring up the fact that I can't whistle? Because I thought whistling was like a universal thing that people could do. And then I met you. Actually, I met you way before I realised you couldn't whistle. I <laughs> <don't>... <laughs> well, you weren't going to realise I couldn't whistle before you met me. I just stood in the shade of a tree. Some others were rolling the bochas and betting on games of this kind. He looks like, a little bit, like the character of Mulan. The skinny guy that sings, um... What? The one that's really Wait, whiny. My dad of many ways are sure to thrill her! Yeah, that one. Beef, pork, chicken. Mmm. Mm. 
I can't wait to watch that on the channel. Honestly, when we get to the Renaissance, our reactions are going to be like three hours long. Oh my god. But also, is it just going to be us saying what happens before it happens? Yeah, I don't know if we can be doing that. A cavallo! The race was about to begin, and the grand prize was 1,000 pesos. I whispered, remember the wings, burrito? Oh, 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 not yet, not yet. Hold up, are they planning to cheat? Cheating? Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's a running race. I suppose he doesn't specify. Quickly, I untied the rope. Animal cruelty much? <laughs> you should see little burrito tearing up the track. <laughs> he... Took their clothes. <laughs> Here comes burrito! Burrito, the winner! Well, amigos, it was all over but... He cheated. He won? I'm confused. Is Donald Duck not in this? I, I don't know. I don't know how to respond to I that. I thought the movie was going to be about the three caballeros. But there's also seven segments that are all completely different. So it's not to do with the three caballeros. The whole reason they're package films is because they're not just one plot. They're a whole bunch of different things packaged together, and the thing that wraps these ones together is the three caballeros. Right. But that doesn't mean they're in every single short, because otherwise it wouldn't. They wouldn't be different shorts, it would, it would be a movie. It's barely a movie. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Adios, amigo. Adios. So I think that's three shorts down. I think that was Pablo the Penguin, the Aracusha Bird, and Little Bambino Conchito Burrito. I think I preferred uh, Saladis Amigos. Well. What's coming up what could it be? Look who it is! Wasn't there three caballeros on a ride in Florida? Yes, in the Epcot M Mexico Pavilion. This actually looks like the end of the Grand Fiesta tour, the little stage that the boat goes mm -hmm. around in Epcot. Only with all three of them, not just one of them. How do you know that? Is that because you've watched the video? It's because I was there in real life. It is. Yeah, but I was there and I don't remember that. Okay, I'll watch the video sometimes. Do you actually? <laughs> Sue me. Como vai você? Como vai essa força? Por onde tem andado? Há quanto tempo que eu não vejo? Que de novo? Or as you Americans say, what's cooking? What's cooking? Hey, oh, what's cooking? Oh, all of that was just what's cooking. Oh yeah, that is a big translation. Let's know in the comments. What's cooking? Land of romance, moonlight, music, beautiful girl. Have you ever been to Bahia? No? Ah, Bahia. It is like a song in my heart. Bahia, yeah. Deep in the sky, Bahia, This is the part of the movie where we take it down a notch. Brazilian style. This is cute. Notre Dame. I was okay. I was just thinking it's like bells of Notre Dame in the beginning. To the bells of Notre Dame. My love for you cannot die. Though they all... If you could visit one place in South America, where would you want to go? There's something about the Amazon rainforest that just real tickles my fancy. Yeah. Like going on one of them little boats, surrounded by like the canopies with like alligators either side. Alligators or crocodiles? Snakes. <laughs> Where would you want to visit? Uh, Let me guess, like an Inca temple. Who? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Make my life complete again. Is this it? What do you mean? Is this one of the parts? Yeah. It's lovely. I just thought it'd be more of a story. What in each thing? Yeah. Oh, you've got, you've got some great shorts coming in the upcoming movies then, if you don't think this one's a story. Can't remember which movie it's in, but there's one segment called, like, The Two Trees? In this, this movie? No, in one of the upcoming movies, and it's about as boring as it sounds. <laughs> so much to look forward to! Is this why nobody watches these? Yeah, they're not great, bro! <laughs> they're, like, really interesting, like, Disney curiosities. Like, oh, that's what they made in 1944 when everyone was at war. But yeah, there's a reason why they're not getting Disney floats sinking <laughs> down the parades. Feeling very relaxed. We have some Brazilian music. So, uh, 
I'm laughing. Whoa, look at this lighting on Zay. Oh, forgive me, but have you been to Bahia? Hi there. Would you like a bag that says saludos to all of your amigos in style? Well, then this is the bag for you. This lounge fly bag based on the three caballeros will have you be in the talk of the town at any fiesta you go to. And yes, it even comes with a fully functional zip. They really did think of everything, didn't they? Now, how can you get your grubby little paws on this magnificent bag? Well, all you have to do is sign up to our Kofi page! This month, we'll be giving one of our Kofi members a gift from us to them. If you're enjoying our content here, then our Kofi page is a place where you can give us a bit of extra support. We upload behind the scenes videos, blog posts, and just have a jolly old time with our members. We've only just started our Kofi page, but already we can see how it's going to help us level up our YouTube channel and post more regularly. It's been so great that we thought we would give back to our supporters with a giveaway of this Three Caballeros Loungefly bag. Ziptastic. All you have to do to win the lounge fly bag is to become a member of one of our tiers on Kofi and answer the question on the relevant post. P.S. We currently have four members on our Kofi page, so chances of winning are quite high. Thanks for listening and all of your continued support, whether it's subscribing, liking, or maybe on Kofi. Back to three caballeros! Donald, in this day, yeah, she sells cookies. Cookies, my friend. Come on, tilt the hat. She's a real person. Dun dun dun! <laughs> it's the first time ever, right? Surely. Walt first used this technique when he did his Alice comedies like in the 20s. So before he did his Mickey Mouse cartoons, he mm. made a whole bunch of shorts called the Alice comedies where he got this little girl, real life girl, Alice, and put her in like a cartoon land. So this is one of the first times he's used this technique since then, since before Mickey Mouse. Wow, so you could say it was Alice in Wonderland. That was... Maybe. Inspiration. Oh wow. So yeah, this is quite a momentous thing and I think yeah, a lot of cinema guys at the time haven't, wouldn't have seen it looking this good being a mix between animation and live action. Yeah, in the 40s, come on. Although you've already clocked, they're looking a little bit blurry. <laughs> a little bit crusty. <laughs> Whoa. Donald's Twitter painted. <laughs> Oh, that's Hello. terrible. It looks great! I love that she just walked on the spot. <laughs> Have you heard of the singer? What, Enrique Iglesias? Yes! This is his mum. <laughs> no. Have you heard of someone called Karma Miranda? Have you ever seen an image of like a Latin singer with like fruits like yeah, in, her, yeah, in her hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is her younger sister, Aurora Miranda. Wow. Why couldn't they get the older sister? Too spenny. I don't know. <laughs> That dance, this. Is that that in um, the mask? Yes! I didn't know if you'd get it. You start dancing, I'll blow your brains out. <laughs> what is he playing? A pencil? Is that a straw? I'm confused at how the noise is happening. <laughs> I could be mistaken, but I think this is Jose Oliveira, who is the voice of Jose Carioca and is someone they met on well, their yeah, journey you said to Latin America. Salad Los Amigos. Guys, honestly, there's so many facts in Salad Los Amigos. You need to check it out. Are you disappointed about the lack of facts in this one? A little bit. You should have split, split it up a little bit more. I was excited! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is long, bro. <laughs> but they're having a lovely time. I it's know. a party. It is great. It could do with a bit more choreography for me and a little less just. Give me like a 1940s MGM number. That's what I'm talking about. Have <laughs> you ever felt like that before? <laughs> All the time. All the time. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, let's stand still. <laughs> there you go, some choreography. 
Okay, now we're cooking. Ooh. That was great transition. Oh yeah, that was lovely. Two guys dance with each other. This movie is far too woke for me. They're just trying to ram this down our throats all the time. Two guys dancing with each other. Go work, go broke, Disney. Why are you shouting? Because sometimes... <laughs> what do you feel about my ear? Yeah? Tell me the truth. Oh, my gosh. Moment. Oh, no. Whoa, Donald! Damn! Take it easy. You have even more presents. 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 Mhm. Mm Got more presents. Oh, it's his birthday. Remember, this movie actually came out on his tenth birthday. Wow. Which is crazy to me because we think of characters like Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse as being so old. But actually, obviously, there was once, once upon a time where there were new characters. Mm. He'd only been around for 10 years at this point. Not quite a long time, 10 years. Which means he's coming up to his 90th birthday. Which means this movie is nearly 80 years old. Which means... No. <laughs> there he go. Mexico is in Latin America. It's Latin America, Mexico. it's not South yeah, America. I was about to say that. <laughs> Here he is! <laughs> what an entrance. Oh, that was a great entrance. Here, amigos! <laughs> Donald! <laughs> 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 that was genuine. I know it was. <laughs> I was expecting that. We're three caballeros, three gay caballeros. They say we are birds of a feather. We're happy amigos, no matter where he goes. The one, two, and three goes. We're always together. Oh, we have stars to guide us. <laughs> he lamps so far back, Donald fell over. <laughs> I've watched this bit many times and I've never clocked that he's just laying flat on the floor. <laughs> oh, Ben. Oh, we have a stars to guide us. <laughs> just laying. <laughs> oh, you would have become so weird. have a stars to guide us. <laughs> Guitars. Okay. <laughs> it's the way he's just staring. <laughs> I realised. We sing and we samba, we shout Tai Caramba! What means Tai Caramba? Oh yes, I don't know. No. <laughs> Put him in a coffin. <laughs> I'm about to make a bold statement. Whoa. I think that's the best bit of Disney I've seen so far in these movies. Are you talking about the package era films? I'm talking about all the movies. I'm talking like animation, the comedy, the song, the vocals. That's your favourite thing out of all seven movies we've so far? I think so. Do you not think? Come on, Three Caballeros! <laughs> Do you not think? I guess Three Caballeros is leaning into the cartoony side a little bit more than most Disney animated classics do. Mm. I thought that was really good. Positivity from that is. What's a piñata? A piñata is full of surprises, presents. It is the very spirit of Christmas. 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 Is this is a Christmas movie. I thought piñatas were a birthday thing. I think they just have celebration generally. Just the any time thing. Yeah. It's the Tuesday afternoon. That's thing. what I thought it was, but clearly it's not that. Let us know in the comments. Do you get your piñatas out for Christmas? Should I spell piñata? P I N squiggly line on top. This custom takes place on each of the nine days before Christmas. The children gather at the village church and form a procession. 
symbolizing the journey of Mary and Joseph from Nazareth to Bethlehem. Another made up story. Wow, Ed is not coming for a world religion. See how all these characters are drawn? Do they remind you of a ride at Disney World? One of the worst rides. It's a small world. So this art style is very Mary Blair. She's not very good. Look how high up the eyebrow is. Is that an eyebrow? It's called art, Ed is. Right. Not that you'd understand anything about it. When Walt went on his adventure down to Latin America, to South America, he brought with him some of his core team. Mm -hmm. Now there was one artist that wasn't really on his radar that much at the time, but during this trip ended up becoming one of the most influential artists in the history of the Walt Disney Company. And that person is called Mary Blair. So she used to draw and paint in a very sort of realistic way. And while she was there, she was experimenting with more sort of abstract form of art like this. And it really grabbed Walt's attention and it became uh, the art they used for It's a Small World. It became really influential for how they designed like Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan. A lot of the films in the Silver Age we'll get to next. She is one of the most really? influential artists for that. And it all stemmed from this trip is where he saw her. Yeah. Do you think, this is a really important question. Mm -hmm. Do you think that looks good? It depends what good means. Do you think that's good? Do I think the characters look appealing? Yes. Do I think they look realistic? No. Do you think they look good? I will <laughs> say this. I have never liked how the characters in It's a Small World look. Right. They've always given me the creeps a little so bit. So you're saying that this Mary Blair lady is not actually that good? No, what she does, what she does <laughs> really well is she will do like concept art for a movie yeah. and then they'll use that concept art and then... Make it better. <laughs> but she will get... <laughs> But she, it's her use of colour and shape and like no, I'm joking. using detail and not detail yeah. that she gets good. No, that's good. It looks like the colours are cool. Build a city here would be almost impossible. But they built and built and built some more. Until today, believe it or not, the lake is full of Mexico City. Mexico City is built on a lake. Yeah, was that a fact or was that like a, a legend? Do you know what I mean? I made the blossoms bloom around you. Welcome back to Mellow Disney. Please enjoy these still images while a man sings a sweet, sweet song. You mean you don't know the man's name? Well, Jose Mourinho. Jose Mourinho? <laughs> Wait, is that his <laughs> <person? laughs> Mexico. Now, for a nice little trip through Mexico on the Magic Sarape. That was good. Come on with the techniques. <laughs> Look at the three caballeros all together at last. Hey! That instrument in the back is incredible. What even is it? Do you want a fun fact about Panchito? I feel like you're going to tell me anyway. So in this movie they call the third caballero Panchito Pistols. <laughs> But did you know that his full name is actually Panchito Romero Miguel Junipero Francisco Quintero Gonzalez? That is potentially my most obscure and useless Disney fact that I know. <laughs> Going loco down in Acapulco. Did you? Take the telescope and have a look at what you might call the hot stuff. Wow, 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 wow. Um, <laughs> that's adult humour, that is. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> is Donald like shooting them? You could really change the music to this and it would really change the uh, energy of the piece. Would you like me to? Yes, please. <laughs> What's crazy? <clears throat> this is what's crazy. Oh, 
You're about to tell me that all these beautiful ladies are dead, aren't no. you? No. <laughs> That's where your mind usually goes when we watch these no, movies. No, I'm about to say, what's crazy is that all these women, like what they're wearing now, back in the day would have been like, oh, this is so revealing. Oh. Right, this is the 40s. Yeah, a scandal. Yeah, obviously now we've seen, well, we've seen lots of things now. Well, you've seen, I don't know well, what your like, internet history is like. <laughs> like music videos, artists, do you know what I mean? Yeah, from a young age as well. We've been watching the, the big badonka donks going around the pool party. Huh? Like music videos. Yeah. Badonka donks. <laughs> That's cool the way they've done that. I'm very impressed. Like the way that they're catching things with the weight. Well done, Disney, 1944. Oh, I wasn't even thinking that. I was just thinking about Donald being naked. <laughs> Isn't it crazy that Donald just wears a top, yet when he doesn't have it on, he looks hella naked. <laughs> like, cover up your groin. So yeah, that is the bit that's a little bit controversial because why is Donald Duck peering on all these ladies like that? Doing. Show you the nightlife of Mexico City. The nightlife. Now we're cooking. And what's cooking? What drink is native to Mexico? Corona. No. Soul. No. What kind of drink? Tequila! Tequila! Soul. Where's Soul from? Is it what you said? Uh, Corona. Where are they from? They're not Mexican. Hey Siri, what country is the drink Soul from? I hope it isn't. Soul is the authentic Mexican beer. Wow. Do you know where Corona is from? Brazil. South Wales. I was going to say. <laughs> Even the sky is full of romantic. Oh, tune. Donald Duck needs to calm down a little bit, doesn't he? It's a bit much, isn't it? It's been throughout the whole movie. Like, the other two are just chilling. Oh, now you're shy. Oh, I'm so quiet. Is he fly? Is he Ducks can fly, it is. We learned that in the last one. Oh, she a flower. They killed her. <laughs> From the inside out, apparently. Tell you what, if we took some things you're probably not allowed to say on the channel, some cow pole. Some cooking mushrooms. You'd be having a lovely old time right now. If we do do that, I'm putting Fantasia on is what I'm doing. But in the 60s, Fantasia had a resurgence and the movie posters were all like psychedelic. And people like liked it again because of that was cool. Missed it. I was talking about drugs. Do you like this section? It's not my favourite. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But like, there's not that much explanation as to like why, what, who, how, when, there's where, really, there's really, and really why. Not a plot then. <laughs> the plot is that. It was his birthday and he got some gifts. Yeah, it was more than the last one, right? <laughs> oh, the three caballeros have gone on to have much better plots because a couple of years ago, they finally got their own series. Really? Yeah, 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 and they like reunited. I watched the first few episodes, it's actually quite good. And they're like adventure, going around the world. I recommend it on Disney+. Plus. How should I ball fighting? Love it, can't get enough me. Do you know what I like about it? Before they let the balls out, what they do? They like pierce their nose, they put like Vaseline in their eyes, they like jab things up their butt. I Did you know that? I didn't know all of that, no. So to make them angry before they go out, love all that. Get them rolled up and angry. Did you know they kill them? Crazy. Anyway, fun bit of animation though. <laughs> He's Him. The end. Come on, 
trilingual. Well, there we go, the three caballeros. So you've seen two Pacajira films now. What was your verdict of the three caballeros? They're not great. <laughs> They're not great. And I was expecting a bit more. They've got a ride. Do you know what I mean? Like That film got a ride, bro. Come on. Next up, we have the only Disney animated classic that is banned from Disney+. Plus. What? We have Make My Music. And if you want to find out why, you'll have to join us next time. Why is it banned? You'll find out, bro. I'm not going to tell you until we do it. What a tease. <laughs> Thanks for watching our Three Caballeros movie reaction and hopefully we'll see you soon. Adios. Bye.